hey guys welcome back to my channel uh, I'm just popping in to show you that um, I needed to make a little bit of art for a table that I'm doing um, I'll show you that I have a video of that later on but I needed to make a little art so I saw this hack on uh, YouTube it's a restoration hardware hack it is a um, like a statue not a statue more like a stone you know fixture that you would put like on the table so the original um sizes for these were um the short one is nine inches by 14 inches high i didn't do that i did seven inches wide and 12 and a half inches in height and then the other one the original is 14 and i mean 13 inches wide i did eight and a half and 19 inches high i did 16. so um i just did these because that was the box that i could find and it just seemed to be easier i had cut out a pattern and all of this but this seems like it will fit the size that i need so this is the first step you cut out the size that you like and you tape three sides closed you leave this the bottom part open so that you can stick the skewers in there to stand them on there I'm also going to try to use this I don't think it's going to work but um, I'm going to try to use this as the base um, but you know this stuff melts when you touch it it crumbles so I don't think that's going to work but um, yeah so that's where I'm at I'll keep popping in to show you um, a few more steps I'm so here I have um, added the caulk from the Dollar Tree and spread it out with um, like a spatula and then I went in with water on top then I took a comb and made these lines in it uh, you know straight down in a small tooth comb on the sides I did the same thing with the small one except for the, the lines were going in a different direction I started with one side I put the caulk on it I smoothed it out with water I used a small tooth comb on the edges and then I took this pick and cut out every other tooth of the pick so that they wouldn't be so close together and then that's what I used I used a pick to make those and then I stopped and let them dry okay guys this is going to be the base that I stick the uh, two skewers in to stand this art piece on and uh, what I did was I butted them together. It came four in a pack. So I butted them together and did a piece of tape. And so this is the finished product. I'm going to, uh, not finished, this is the taped up product. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, um, I think I'm going to put joint compound on the top of mine. Uh, <clears throat> I did those other pieces with the um, caulk. And, you know, it worked well and everything, but it took 24 hours to dry. That's too long. So what I'm going to do for the back side of those um, pieces, I'm going to use this all-purpose uh, joint compound. So hopefully it'll dry faster. Okay, guys, I'm back. So what I have done is I put the caulk on the front of the pieces. Then I put the joint compound on the back and let it dry. And the caulk took a day, the joint pound, the joint compound, it kind of took a half a day. I kept hitting it with the blow dryer. So that part of it does take a while and you want it to be dry so it doesn't um, smear or crush or do whatever. So the colors, I am trying my best to come up with the best colors for this. So I'm using whatever I had, any um, craft paint I had at home. So I came up with this one sort of like a terracotta so i thought but when you put it on there it looked more like red or burgundy and uh, then i got this little mustard one so what i'm going to do is this is the beauty when it comes to the art part this is the art part you don't have to have it exactly as some as what you see you know another person do you can do this to complement your room you could do it um just until you feel like it's right so that's where i will be i'll be doing it until i feel like it's right so i'm gonna put this red on there i did it on did i i didn't do this side but i did do this side and i didn't put a lot on because i said what i would do is i will build up the color so that's where we at we at building up the colors finding the proper colors so i'm gonna start here and then i'll pop back in once i put the next color 
Okay, hey guys, so we're back. I have put the mustardy color and the reddish color on. So this is what I have. This is what I came up with. I've been teetering with it. If I should go over it more with red, but I have to go over it with white anyway. So I'm not. And I did do a little test at the top. So what I mixed up here was um, the Waverly Ivory, because I only have a little bit of that. Get rid of that. And this. I doubt if you'll be able to find it. This stuff is so old. It was just one of these craft paints I had in the um, drawer. And I mixed those together with water. And then I added some um, a sea spray texture. Uh, so to have a little texture. She used, uh, I think, spackle or something i don't know what she used but she mixed it in with the paint and so that's what i'm going to do so um let's see how this works so i'm just going to do this lightly because really what you want to do is kind of cover up everything and only have a little bit peeking through so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just do a little I, I'm not trying to see I really don't want the that the lines on it. I'm not trying to make it exactly uh like she had it or exactly like the item. I'm just trying to do a similar version, I would say. So and what I would suggest is I would suggest going in lightly first. And then go back and if you think like it needs a little bit more here and there, then you, you know, add in a little bit more. Don't do too heavy at first. Okay, so what I did was I took that uh, ivory and uh, yellow... Uh, like mustard yellow mixture and I made sure I covered everything I was trying to cover up most of the stuff that was underneath and then I let that dry and then what I did was I took two shades of brown one was a dark brown and one was more like a milk chocolate brown and I strategically sponged it in in areas to kind of emulate or simulate like rust I would say you know like rust on it in any place that was too light, I went back in. I let it dry, but I went back in with that white and um, went over top of it to, you know, tone it down. Okay, so um, I, I, uh, we are at the stage where I have covered the bottoms with. Um, I did a load of, a coat of paint and I didn't like it. So then I mixed some black paint with um the sea spray and did two coats over there and I just dabbed it on with the brush. So we are letting it dry. You can see it's starting to dry here. We're going to let it dry and then I'll probably hit it with another coat of black. These um scores are the um scores that I put in here I did a little cross um, piece just to make it sturdy because this piece was um, this piece my piece is bigger than the ladies that I saw in the video it's bigger so I needed a little bit more support also my um, my pieces will probably fit all the way flush down they probably won't you know show this part so that's where we are and I'll be back after this dries so I let them dry and then I took some more black paint and did two coats of black over the base of them and I cut a piece of fabric and uh, painted that black just to go under the bottom just so it looked a little bit more finished and so I'm adding glue right here to those pieces of fabric to go under the bottom of the, the piece and then adding the actual artwork. So these are the originals and this is what I came up with. I think I could still do better on the color, but uh, I think they are the perfect size for underneath the table. So subscribe and leave a comment and we will talk to you later.